All right, and I think we're live. Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Tuvas, and today this is going to be a live stream of Georgia War. The server literally just restarted, so we are going to take advantage of that fact, and let's see if we can fly out with something I haven't used in a long time, and that's the Harrier. Oh boy, it's been a while. And don't worry, even though it is incredibly dark, it is in fact the morning, so eventually the sun will be out. But it may take about an hour. Alright, let's see. How do I start this thing? Hello, welcome back. What time is it? It is, it's past nine. Let's see, let's go to ground crew, ground refuel. We'll take name nine. I don't think I'm gonna need a sidearm, but I'm gonna bring one anyways. We'll take, yeah. Smartest thing to do would be GBU 38s, or 54s, one of the two. Oh, come on. 38, go to ground. <laughs> Let's go with Fs. AGM 65 Fs for now. And then targeting pod, and of course, our gun pod using armor piercers or. Yeah, let's go with arm piercing. Request rearming. All right. Copy. Battery on. It has been a minute. Let's see if I remember how to turn this on. Go. Now I should be able to start it. Key ground crew. Auto, just a touch of RWR volume. And of course. Put this to nav. I need my flaps on. And I think we are set pretty much. Oh wait, HUD and radios. Okay, that should do it. Let's switch this to one through three. Until and two, four, nine, decimal five. Chevy five one, Overlord oh. one one, bra zero seven six four one hundred seventy at ten thousand knots. All oh, right, and HUD. Chevy five and since it's one, night time, we'll switch one, this to night. Zero eight three four one hundred ninety at. And the flare isn't ready knots. yet. I believe. Yep, not ready yet, but once it is, I'll put the flare up on the HUD as well. Chevy 51. And let's turn off that light. Alright, so everything started up. Should be good to go. Um, one thing I will double check on is what available missions there are. Looks like they're, based on the web GCI, there's a few units that are just north of Krimsk, so let's go ahead and try and hit those guys. Should be one of the two closest locations. Oh, in fact, oh, right. uh, let's adjust controls. I need to add a modifier. Chevy five one, Overlord one one, bra zero eight eight four two hundred at eleven thousand knots. 
press F1. We need to bind this guy. Chevy five one. F2. One, one. Bra zero eight eight four one hundred ninety at fifteen thousand hot. F6. Find that. Chevy five one. Overlord one F10. one. Bra one zero seven that. four one hundred ninety okay. at seven thousand. Also, before I forget, I am going to add Yeti sounds. And hopefully this actually works, so let's test this. Oh, and of course I can't change radios for some reason. Why that is. So I need to do Chevy this. Five one, five settings. Hotkeys. Oh, I know why. Duh. I know exactly why. Because I need to enable pass through. So disconnect. Chevy five one. Overlord one one. Pop up group zero seven two four one hundred fifty at three thousand flanking. Go to settings. I thought there was a way to allow the game to control radio switching. I don't see a way to do that. That's not switching. Okay. Well, whatever. We'll do this ourselves. Alright, I'm back on 2495. Alright, Flare is up, so let's bring that up onto the HUD, which if I remember right is sensor select press and hold and then let go. Yep, there we go. That's very nice. Okay, and what I was going to do is double check the map. Let's zoom out. Alright, so we have two, we have a ton of targets. Uh, this is a buy, that's a buy. Let's actually turn them all on. So we got Death Witch, Death Wish, CCP Virus, a Strike, Salty Delty, Crisp White. Doesn't look like there's any SAMs in the immediate area, so that's good. So our biggest issue is going to be uh, enemy fighters in the area, more than likely. So we'll first hit either Death Wish or CCP Virus. We'll probably do CCP Virus. Because if there's any A10s, they'll probably hit the closest thing, which is going to be the other one, Death Wish. Alright, cool. Data. 77, enter, waypoint 10. North. Oh, missions, air interdiction. CCP virus is 445719. 445719. Enter. And east. Zero. Um. Chevy 5 1. Overlord 1 1. 7, at 23, Enter. Very good. Chevy five one. Overlord one one. Bra zero seven six. Then let's switch to waypoint. Seven. Chevy five one. Overlord one one. Bra zero eight three four one hundred. Is that not switching waypoints? At fifteen thousand. Just controls. Waypoint increments. Really, it doesn't work while I'm on the ground? Oh, I can't even switch at all. What the heck? Uh oh. Have things changed? We're in route mode? Oh, am I not aligned? Is that the issue? 
Oops. That might be the issue. Am I not alone? Because I'm looking at exactly north, even though I'm off north. Okay, yeah, I'm not going to line. That sucks. Right, so let's go to C align. And make sure that ground crew has electric power on. Chief, turn on the ground power. I'm pretty sure I need the cable attached. Ground power is now on. Chevy 5-1, Overlord 1-1, one, one, Bra 106, for 180 at 7,000 knots. Hmm. I was kind of hoping I wouldn't have to deal with that. I could also do Chevy in flight alignment. Five one, Overlord one, one, bra Pretty one sure zero that would just rely on GPS data, which is what I should do anyways, to be honest. Let's turn this back to off. Sea line. ATT not okay. Chevy five one. Overlord I have forgotten how to align at sea. That's kind of unfortunate. All right, let's. That oh, doesn't make Overlord sense. Okay, you know what? Let's just Bra trust in the in-flight alignment. At some point, that'll eventually align, I, I assume. Alright, all right, let's get out of here. Overlord, one, one. Bra, zero, eight, well, first, four, let me double check with my 7. At knots. Really? Did it not enter it? Oh, it did. Alright, whatever. Alright, let's hope for the best. If it doesn't end up working, then we'll restart and change our settings. We can break off. Chevy five one overlord one one bra zero eight nine four one hundred eighty wheel tracks thirty five thousand well, first ground crew chief, power turn off. off the ground power ground crew wheel chocks removed chief copy. remove the wheel chocks six four one hundred eighty ground power is now seven thousand knots wheel chocks are now removed. Chevy five one Overlord one one bra one zero six four one hundred eighty at seven thousand knots. <laughs> What's up, Kyle? Chevy five one Overlord. I appreciate the sentiments. Bra one zero six four one hundred eighty. This is the uh, AV8B Harrier two night attack. It is Chevy five one Overlord. Pretty much one, my favorite jet. I've been getting used to the, uh, what's called? I've been getting used to the F-16 lately, but this is still pretty much my, my go-to aircraft. Let's go ahead and turn water on. Flaps to down. Alright, we are pretty much good to go. Let's throttle up. Let go. Keep ourselves center line. Get ready to move nozzles. Chevy and five one. Nozzles. Very good. Flap up. Nozzles the rest of the way forward. Throttle down. Autopilot. Turn that off because that's kind of annoying. And water off. Alright, cool. Okay, we are on our way to our objective. Uh, also, let's turn that to night. Turn this to night. Well, actually, this to day. Turn the map off. Oops. That is not how you turn the map off. How do you turn the map off again? Map. Off. Okay, and switch that back to day. Alright, cool. 
Chevy 5-1. Overlord data. Pop-up group. 076. Four hundred fifty. One thousand five hundred. Cold. Lights need to turn off. There we are. And begin a right hand bank towards the target. Bra one zero seven four one hundred eighty at seven thousand knots. Chevy 5-1, Overlord of course, 1-1, Bra, 1 0 7 4 180 at 7,000 knots. there's the target area. Perfect. Well, actually, no, it's not. The target area is a little one, more to the right. Overlord 1-1, Bra, 1 0 7 4 right 180 at 7,000 knots. Scale to auto. Unfortunately, it looks like the cloud layer is incredibly low, but hopefully it's not too thick, because I can work with the fit, work with it if it's not too thick. Which we can double check. Oh boy, <laughs> that looks pretty thick. <laughs> oh no! I don't know if we're gonna be able to do much in this. We might have to switch to F16 and get work done in some other way. Oh, yeah, well. Alright, let's one, switch to... Oh, what the heck? 2, 5, 3, And let's test this one more time. Forgot about that dancing sound when you have multiple radar. <laughs> What's called radar pings on the on the RWR. Zero eight seven four one hundred sixty. That alone makes me want to turn it off. Chevy five one Overlord one one Bra zero nine four four one hundred sixty at thirty five thousand knots. Chevy Let's switch to airborne, select our knobs, get those ready to go before we reach our target area. It's currently about five minutes. Wait, sorry, no. It is currently about. How many minutes away is that? Chevy 5-1, Overlord 1-1, pop up group 079 4 140. Yeah, I did that a little earlier, but that's alright. Oh, it looks like we have an A-10 already working on our current target. But there's also a flanker trying to intercept our A-10. Chevy mm. We're going to have friendly fighters in the area pretty soon, so hopefully that's not an issue for us once we get there. In the meantime, I'm going to continue heading mostly in this direction. And just to double check, make sure we're heading in the right direction. Yes, we are. And sure enough, we have friendlies firing off AGM 88s. Who's firing AGM 88s at? I didn't think there were any Sams around here. What's going on? Strike, strike, strike. Oh, there is there is one sound. It's Megatron. Hmm. That's a little concerning. Alright. Chevy 5-1, Overlord 1-1, Bra 087, Fork 120, at 35,000, flanking. Sun is coming up. That's good. Chevy 5-1, Overlord 1-1. Alright, we'll hold roughly this altitude, about 2,000. Should be plenty high enough. Gives us enough space to uh, go defensive if we need to. Uh, radio check is probably 2x5, you're a little low. 
Tanker over there. Right in the distance where my cursor is. Okay, the the cloud layer isn't too bad. It's a li it's a little patchy, but I can work with it. Unfortunately, there is a enemy flanker currently trying to shoot down a friendly A10. At least based on Web GCI. It is somewhere right here, somewhere. I know you can't see my cursor when it goes behind the screen, but it is like pretty much where it's going. Right now. Yeah. That's some pepper on these time. Right, we'll designate this as the target area. Also, activate our teapot. Arm it. Switch to thermal, which I believe is this button. There we go. And I need to adjust these levels. Let's increase the contrast. Increase the gain. And with that, I can already see the target area. Cool, sweet. Take this. Set this as T O O. Well, first I need to T pod designate. Set this as T O O one. And then wait for the <laughs> cloud to clear. And we'll offset ourselves off to the left. <laughs> hey Ivan, what's up? Yeah, what can I say? I like to use the Harrier at night. Go figure, right? Also, the, uh, the constant music is just so relaxing. Just the bee doop bee doop. Oh man, that is like classical music just in my ears. Piercing, piercing my ears. Thank God. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna have to keep on turning. Oh, the p. <laughs> That's uh, it's nice and relaxing to use. I don't have to worry about setting up too many things. It's comfortable. Just sits in my hand. And I, I can use it plenty well, so why not? Alright, we'll hold this direction and wait for the clouds to clear. One thing I wish I had was a proper helmet mounted queuing system that would work. Oh boy. I think the cool the cooldown of the iron maps will reset. Oh never mind, we're good to go. Cool, sweet. I'm happy with that. Let's see, the target area is roughly where is it? It's about 20 miles away. Ah, there we go. We can finally see our targets again, so that's target one. Let's find target two. Which is gonna be this guy. Enter. And target three. Two Enter. Target four. These clouds work with me. Enter. Oh my god, these clouds. <laughs> Come on. Target one. At least the day's brightening up. The sun's coming up. At some point, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to need this flare on my HUD. And it looks like we've got a lot of friendly fighters in the area, so we are going to have to worry less and less about enemy cap. 
and also I'm gonna have to start turning in like this. Actually, that is a horrible idea because I'll be turning in towards enemy enemy units, so I need to actually turn this way. And you know what? I am going to drop below the cloud layer because this is honestly kind of ridiculous. That's all good. A little bit of over G didn't hurt anyone. Below the cloud layer. Or I could just roll in hot on those four units. Yep, yeah, let's just roll hot on those four units. Alright, switch over to our JDAMs. Actually, before we do that, let's get some altitude back. Chevy 5-1, Overlord 1-1, one, one, bra 075-4-110. And then, we will set targets. Sorry, that's... Reselect, reselect. Chevy 5-1, oh Overlord 1-1, one, one, bra 076-4-110. At 7,000. Right, let's go to... Target. One, two, three, and four. Because I do believe I have selected four targets. Yes, I have. And now let's switch over to EHSD. Perfect. Now let's turn it. And make sure we arm our bombs. Then as we go into our target area, we'll also double check and make sure our targets are actually still alive. We should be. Just in case. We'll double check. Chevy 5-1, Overlord 1-1, one, one, bra 145-440 at 19,000, flanking. Oh boy. Chevy 5-1, Overlord 1-1, one, one, bra 107-435 at 11,000, hot. Okay, you guys didn't see this, but I just had a spider moment, and I hate spiders. <laughs> it was crawling around on my monitor. I'm back. Not as I'm not freaking out anymore. Okay. So let's go ahead and see our targets. Two, three, four. They seem to be okay still. Unfortunately, it is hard to tell through this cloud layer. Okay, there we go. One, two, three. Oh, one's down. Two is down. No, only one of them is down. So we will select our jade and gun and deselect number three. And now that we're in range, we'll wait till we're about 50 on the lar. And there we go. Release. One, two, four. Alright. And turn around. There is an SA6 out there? That is turning on and off. Alright, uh, well anyways, just because it's fun to watch, let's go ahead and watch these guys go in. In the meantime, let's do this so you guys can more easily see it. Alright, hopefully these guys hit. Oh, you know what? Their positions may have changed. Shit. 
shack, shack, and three shack. Yeah, three shack. All right, cool, sweet. All right, we hit three armors. That's pretty good. Oh, that looks disgusting. Hold on, let me change the gamma back down to 1.5. All right, cool. This S6 is scaring me. And I'm going to flare just in case because that guy should not be there. And it's kind of freaking me out. In fact, I think we can see where they're located. They're all right there. I kind of want to throw a. <laughs> I kind of want to throw my sidearm at it. Uh, let's go ahead and try that. In cage. I think the S6 is a Tunguska, if I'm not mistaken. Anyone know that by chance? Oh, the music is just amazing. And we will make sure we maintain altitude. And let's follow that sidearm in because it looks cool. Looks like it's still tracking. Ah, oh, yeah. Come on, hit it. Boom! Good kill. Not bad. Alright, cool. So we are currently 4 for 4 which is pretty good. Switch back over to our iron mods. Switch back over to T-Pod Hotas Controls. Select our iron mods again, because apparently those become deselected. And let's go back to our target location. It's currently 20 miles out. So how you all doing tonight? For anyone who's joined, thank you all for stopping by. Hopefully I'll prove to be entertaining for tonight. I don't know how long I'm going to be uh, playing for, but uh, hopefully for however long that is, you guys will be entertained. And it looks like our targets are officially dead, so we don't have to worry about them anymore. However, we should worry about the ones that we just hit. And I forgot their location already. Aren't they like right here? Pretty sure they were like right under our wing somewhere. Chevy 51 Overlord 11 Bra 084490 at 8000 knots. Pretty sure they were. Also my frame rate is just horrendous. There they are. Chevy 51 Overlord 11 okay, cool. Bra 0 Literally right below us. So, that's the case. 4500 flanking. Go ahead and extend out just a little bit. Chevy 51 Overlord 11 Bra See the problem with hitting these particular locations is Yes, I can see them, but there's also an A-10 already in the area, and he's doing a lot of work as is. In fact, that looks like a dead A-10? Ooh, that's not good. What happened there? That's not, a, that's not the A-10, was it? No way. Is that an enemy? 40 miles? 60 miles? Do I have enemies at as far as like 40 miles, so that would have been a friendly. Maybe that was the A-10. What the heck is going on? Anyways, so our target area is like right at those fires there. Right around here. So we're going to turn our nose on that so we can get our T-Bot in the area. And hopefully we can find the rest of these targets that are hidden amongst the buildings. And hopefully do something about it. So let's go ahead and turn in. Chevy five one, overlord one one, bra, turn off zero, our AFC. Seven, nine, four eighty at four thousand flanking. We got our T pod in the target Chevy area. Let's turn that off. 
And let's do that. And set over that one hit long. Okay, that is now target area zero. And let's find some targets. Oof. That contrast needs to go up, maybe? Nope. Maybe not. Gain needs to go down, maybe? Not really. I don't know how I'm going to fix that. Oh. Whatever. It's just going to be really hard to find anything. Wow, that is impossible to see anything. How am I going to... Oh my goodness. Contrast down? Yeah, contrast down is what I want. Okay, cool. Um, speak of the devil, I think that is something we want. That is not. That is a dirt spot. Okay, never mind. Oh, this is impossible. Chevy Oh my gosh. What the heck? Is that? Nope, that is a bush. There has to be a way I can make this Chevy easier to see. Brightness down? Or sorry, gain down? Nope. Literally nothing else I could do. Alright. Put on radar spike that appears to be far away. And we are currently at 26,000, so let's go ahead and maintain this current altitude. And find some targets. I think that guy just got damaged. Oh my goodness. That is just horrible. Oh, what was that? What is that? Did you guys see that? Oh, that's a missile. Oh no! Oh, there's our A-10. He just got blasted. Okay. Uh, can I spot that missile trail? <laughs> um, I don't think I can. It's funny how I found the missile, but not where it came from. Let's try Black Hawk. Oh no, this is wild. Okay, cool. This might make it a little easier. That is a dead unit. Yeah, I can't play that far to zoom this way. Okay, let, let's switch back to target point zero. Oh, well, that didn't help. All right. Oh, oh, missile, missile. I just saw it. Dang it, where did it come from? It came from this direction somewhere. Please. Where is it? Is it somewhere from like right here? Okay, I need to get on a better orbit. Pretty good. Oh, and of course I can't see anything anymore. It's okay. We'll wait till it's off our right hand side on our three o'clock and then we'll stabilize. It's that area right there. Yep. Alright, cool. It is now at our 3 o'clock, so let's find just the right angle to keep it there. Probably right around here. 
Chevy 51 Overlord 11 Pop up Good. group 115470 at one. All right. Let's do this again. The issue is Chevy contrast. I need a little less intensity on these lights, and I don't think there's a way I can address that. And apparently there's only five targets left in the cell. Okay, we still don't have to worry about that. Actually, it depends on what it is. Yeah, we still don't have to worry about that. Is the target area still... No, we're a little bit too sharp at the angle. Let's zoom out to make sure we're looking at the correct area. Yes, we are. Chevy five one, Overlord one one. I don't see any more Bravo units over there. Eight three four one hundred at eleven thousand flanking. Chevy five one, Overlord one one. Bra one three one four one hundred seventy at eleven thousand hot. Chevy 5 1, Overlord 1 1. It's just so hard to find the units for them. Chevy 5 1, Overlord 1 1. Bra 0 6 5 4 100 at 7000. Cold. 29 radar directly ahead. Based on the GCI, it looks fine. You know what? I might have to switch and just move on to another target area because this is just impossible. Like, I know the missile came from like, this direction. I just don't know where exactly. It's just a simple man pad just stand around somewhere, I'm pretty sure. Are you among these trees? I can't wait for the new floor system. Okay, well, that's not going to happen, so let's go ahead and switch to nav mode. Double check where the... Oh, actually, and turn off the floor on my head. Fix. Oops, let's uh, switch that back to auto. And we will start flying towards Anape, just to make sure we're safe while we get our bearings of where we need to go next, which is going to be waypoint 1. There we go. Just because we have a friendly uh, sand in that area, so I might as well fly towards it to remain safe. Alright, cool. Let's double check F10. Zoom out. Oh my god, I was flying over this the whole time. Salty Delty. Crisp. Strike. Probably hit the strike. <coughs> okay. Let's go for the strike. Great missions. Strike. Closest one to us is... This one, Chiyoda Squishy Thighs. Oh no, it would be Zawarudo! Okay, power plant, 450518. Let's change waypoint 10 to that. Enter. Oh, 45 what? 450518. Enter. East, 0, 380242, Chevy 5 one Overlord, 1, 1, And there it is. He's a piece Chevy 5 1, Overlord 1 1, Bra 0 82 4 T-Pod to our sensor of interest. T-Pod doesn't need. T-O-O 
one. Chevy five one, Overlord one one, Bra zero nine one four eighty at Zero-oh. eleven thousand flanking. Two. Because I only have three Jadens left. Out of ground. One, two, three. Nice, try it. Yeah, go for it. Is that a bot in my chat, of all things? Chevy five one, Overlord one one. That very much looks zero like an attempt at posting a hyperlink. At flanking. Chevy five one, Overlord one one. And Bra, we double zero check nine how many bombs I have left. At eleven thousand knots. I have three left. Okay, perfect. Chevy five one, Overlord one one. Bra zero nine eight four one hundred ten at eleven thousand flanking. Chevy five one, Overlord one one. Bra one three five four forty at eight thousand flanking. Chevy five one, Overlord one one. Bra one zero one four seventy at ten thousand oh, flanking. And drop. One, two, and three. Chevy five one, Overlord one and one. Go back to designate so we can watch them fall. Oh really? Two and three. Okay. Chevy five one, Overlord one one. Bra one zero seven four one hundred thirty at twenty nine thousand knots. All right, holding orbit, and let's watch the bombs fall. I can't remember, are Mark 82s enough to destroy these kinds of structures? I don't think they are. And you, sorry Susan, if you are not a bot, I apologize, but this is too body, so I'm going to have to do something about that. And we move. Feel free to say hello, and then I won't end you. <laughs> Pretty much. Chevy five one, Overlord one one, bra zero six six four eighty at eight thousand flanking. Wow, those bombs are taking forever, aren't they? Chevy five one, Overlord one one, bra zero nine nine four sixty at. Hey, what's up, Chips? How's it going? Flanking. Please hit. Chevy five one, Overlord one one, bra and zero hold. nine seven. Splash, splash, splash. Or shack, 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 I should say. Hopefully that's enough to destroy those. Chevy 5-1, Overlord 1-1, Bra 0 at 11,000 knots. All right. Switch back to our T-Pod and see if there's any units we could destroy as well. Like, for example, this guy. I'll set this to target of opportunity 1. Oh, probably map destiny first. Fun to see me streaming? Yeah, I think this is officially my second YouTube stream. We spent five hours playing the SU-25-2. Ah, nice, man. I'm glad you were able to get that uh, actually working. The tutorial at this point is a little old, but uh, I'm glad it's still viable. Eight six four seventy at twenty six thousand gold. Okay, cool. So Chevy one, Overlord one, T one, zero seven seven four ninety at seven thousand. We'll make this guy T O O two. All right, now pop up group one two two four seven. Switch to now so I can see. 
my selected waypoints. P01. Designate. Uncage. Zoom in. And we're currently 8 miles away, which is almost close enough. Sensor select to IMF. Wow, that is not the button. Go back. IMF and lock. Then cage. And oh, Chevy Five One Overlord, one nav, bra, one zero four four forty, that should be good enough. And let's see if those have landed. No, they haven't. One has, and a good kill. Sweet. Alright. Pretty new DCS? Yeah, no worries, man. Everyone starts somewhere. For instance, I'm about to do something really stupid despite having played DCS for a while. That is going for guns. Nope. As fun as using guns are, you should honestly never get close enough to use guns when it comes to ground attack. The only time you should is if you've successfully sanitized the area of air defenses, but I'm fairly certain I have not. But I'm going to do this anyways because, you know what, I don't care if I die. We can always just respawn. But first, let's find a target we can actually hit. For example, this guy. Can totally hit that guy. Chevy five one. Overlord, what is one that? Bra, one zero one that is an oil derrick. Or not a derrick, but a uh, pump. See, for example, that is triple A. So is that. And so is that. There is literally three things of triple A. So I guess I can try and go for those guys. Alright, let's do it. What's up, Historico? Nice to have you on the show. What do you want to call this? And let's speed up a little bit. Blaring. Pull up, pull up. Unwinding. Oh no, I forgot to select guns. Pull up, pull up. <laughs> and even that happens to some people. And flaring just in case. Oh, what the heck? I got hit anyways? Hey, what's up, Pring? Wow, I did not see a... No, I did have guns selected. I guess I, my engine wasn't spooled fast enough. Oh, well, that sucks. Alright, let's go for a suicide. There it is. Okay, cool. We got this, we got this. I don't... I'm pretty sure I'm missing an elevator or aileron, but let's do this. We've still got the AAA selected. And unwinding. Chevy five one. Death. Pull up, pull up. One, bra, zero nine six four ninety oh. at oh. eleven thousand flanking. Oh. Oh. Chevy five one. Overlord one one. Bra, I am zero, honestly nine, surprised we're still flying. Usually when the Harrier gets hit by a missile, um, yeah. 
you typically aren't flying anymore. I've still got a working engine. It is not overheating. I just... I'm pretty sure I'm missing it. Oh my god, I missed my flaps. And one elevator. Okay, cool. Awesome. Stable later. Yeah, don't worry. We're still flying. It's all good. It's all good. We got like at least two thirds of working plane. Would you recommend just jumping face first into the Hornet after getting good at the frog foot? I mean, it's not a bad plane. It's not that difficult to pick up if you've already got a good grasp of DCS as, you know, as a game. Uh, but I will say it's going to be a whole new learning experience, especially with the fact that it's a full fidelity aircraft. Um, but yeah, take it from the others that are around. Sorry, Preen, I'll get back to you in just a second. I am running in for another gun run. Let's try that. Pull up, pull up. Uh. Out, out, Going up. Making sure we pull away from the ricochet. I swear, I have no idea where that missile came from. Alright, we knocked out the three trip away. Don't know where else that missile could have been. All right, we will chill up in the sky. Zoom out a little bit. Chevy five one, Overlord one one. Pop We're still good on enemy fighters. Our friendly cap is taking care of it. Now, should I trust autopilot to trim me out when I'm this damaged? Do you think it's smart enough to trim me out appropriately? Might be. Bra one two three four one hundred ten at twenty seven thousand knots. Okay. Anyways. Uh, Preen, got back into VTOL VR. Recently, hearing your voice come over the radio <laughs> still always surprising me. <laughs> I forgot all about that. I forgot I let voice lines over to VTOL, uh, for VTOL VR. It's crazy. Just jump straight on. Yep. I remember that. If you've got a decent hot test system, go for it, Chips. Yep, I agree. Or if you have... Oh, well, actually, yeah, he just has a gamepad because he just got finished saying he's followed my, uh, Rockfoot tutorial. But, that said, I do have an A10 gamepad layout, which, Preen, you already know because you helped me test it. As much as you wanted to kill yourself doing it, it was still pretty, uh, pretty viable. Our JPT is still pretty low. Our... RPMs are still only at 80. Pro that's probably why our JPT is pretty low. Alright, let's find a new target that potentially is the reason why we got hit by a missile. Bra, zero, seven, three, four, at 7, cold. No, I probably shouldn't Caution. overfly the area while I'm doing this. Let's Caution. turn away. Okay, is it this? No, nope, that is a triple A. That is... What is that? That is a BMP. I could kill that. I've already killed that. Chevy 5-1, Overlord 1-1, one, one. pop-up group 107 at 1,000. I do not see a SAM of any kind. What is going on? All right, let's turn over this one. Chevy five one, Overlord one one, pop up group zero seven one four fifteen at one thousand five hundred flanking. I can't remember what hotest do you have, Crane? If I remember right, isn't it like a Chevy five X fifty two or X fifty six or something? I don't think you have the Warhawk. Okay, seriously, where is this guy? Yeah, I don't, I don't know where that missile came from. We're gonna have to review the tapes because I don't see any 
potential ground unit that even has something like a shoulder mounted anti air or shoulder mounted uh, stinger or something. Chevy 5-1, Overlord, 1-1, bra, 0 7 Okay, we will go for this BMP next, because I know our guns can kill that. In fact, we will just do it. Oh, well, actually, I was going to say let's just dive in now, but honestly, we have to go in at a shallow angle just because how much damage we've taken. All right, AFC is off. Ah, screw it. Let's do it. Crimps is nearby, right? Oh my god, it needs so much left aileron to combat this. Flaring. Flaring. Wait for the unwind. There it is. Oh my god, this is not going to work out. Oh, just barely. Okay, cool. Alright, I think we damaged it, but we didn't kill it. And we are out of flares. Alright. Yeah, that's right. Rhino 56. Along with C Oh my god, CH pedals? How does it feel to have your knees together while you use rudders? <laughs> Yeah, at this point I just don't care. Let's let's just do this. Oh my god, find the target, please. Alright, I guess it's gonna be this guy. Pull up, pull up. Chevy oh my god. That's alright. For some reason my teapot did not find my gun. What is my teapot doing, man? It's not like it's in point track or anything. It's awful. Every time I use them, I miss the real thing. Yeah, no kidding, dude. I was gonna say, like, if you hadn't had the real thing, I imagine you would have made it work. But now that, you know, you have proper spacing on your legs, it must be just horrendous going to a CH pedal. What is going on? Where is my teapot? Is it dead? Yeah, like even if I do this, it's not reorienting over. Okay. And we'll do that. Okay, I guess our teapot's dead. And look at that. Thank you for the wild weasel. Oh, and that guy just died. <laughs> wow. What was that? I think that was an A10. I got hit by a missile and an A-10 goes down with a little bit of fire? Alright. You know what? I think these ground units think I'm dead. That's why they're not firing at me. I think I took so much damage that they think I'm uh, just a dead unit flying around. So they're not bothering. dead. Out. I will take advantage of Out. that. Out. Yeah, look at that. They think I'm dead. Hell yeah. I mean, I feel like it's kind of cheating. That's okay. And I don't think my air brake is out. No, it's not. And just for the record, no flaps. One missing stabilator. This held on or whatever the hell that's called. Yeah, we're, uh, we're doing okay. We've seen worse days. You recommend track hour or VR? I have 16 gigs of RAM, but heard I need at least 16 more for... Well, so that's the thing. For VR, the extra RAM actually doesn't matter. It's if you want to play on high-intensity missions where there's a lot of units all around. So, yes, you'll need a higher graphic, like a better graphics card, for example, for VR, but RAM doesn't matter so much but it is still important to have at least 32 gigs of RAM if you want to play on a multiplayer server like the one I'm on now. Because there's so many things going on that your RAM is just going to fill up so fast and eventually DCS is just going to crash if you're not careful. 
So you have to be, uh, so it's not, uh, unique to VR, is all I'm trying to say. Go, and... Let's go ahead and pull up! And I think is, uh, before we call it a night, I'm gonna review the tapes because I really want to know what the hell shot me. And before we do anything else, let's go ahead and switch over to our DMT instead. And hopefully that gives us just on the fly arranging. I don't think that's how that works, but might as well. Oh boy, full left aileron. Yeah, this should be the last unit. Pull up, pull up! Wow. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to do anything to tanks. Damage it, but uh, I don't think I'm going to get enough sustained fire on it to actually kill it. And I only have 66 rounds on Anyways. Alright, cool. Let's just go in for the last run. Then we'll land at Chris Krimsk. Repair. Ground repair. And get back in here. Or we could just die here and switch to like an F-16 or something. Pull up, pull up. Fuck it. I mean, screw it. Let's do it. Boom! Hey, we got it. Alright, cool. Hey, and look at that salty dolphin destroy. Um, alright, let's go ahead and move on to F-16. Uh, but yeah, so regarding track IR, that's probably going to be the better option. However, I would suggest checking out, um, uh, what is it called? Open track, because open track just uses face tracking software to track your face and then produces a similar result to track IR, but it's a little bit delayed and it's not as accurate. So you'll find that your head kind of drifts as you look around if you don't put in any, uh, any curves or any uh, dead zone. But, I mean, it's free. Might as well give it a shot and see what it's like. What was I going to do? F-16. Very right, cool. Let's spawn at Novo. And get in the air. Oh my god. Dude, I've seen you play, and I cannot imagine... Like, the whole reason why I put in so much effort to get the gamepad to work with a mouse is so I can easily look around with a gamepad. I cannot imagine doing that with buttons. I really prefer using my right stick. Yeah, dude. <laughs> it's crazy. I don't know how he does it, but he does. Oh. Oh, right, because I need power. Power on. Now I can use the radio. The armory fuel. Let's go and do that. Get M120 C5s. M120 C5s. Then let's see. Probably more ground attack, to be honest. I can go with CBU 105s. Yeah, might as well. Wait, what am I doing? May go bigger, go home, man. Times two. Bombs times two. Air to ground missiles, just in case there's still SAMs in the area. We'll take AGM 88 harms. And T pod, just to see the target area, as well as HTS pod to help us locate exact locations of radar sources. Request refueling. All right. Now that that's going, let's Request go ahead and start. Copy. Refueling complete. And 20 RPMs, so let's go into idle. Yeah, come on. There, there, on. 
one on bypass because I prefer that. Rearming complete. Rearming is now complete. Data link and stored heading. Turn on our radar altimeter. This guy, this guy, and this guy. You know what I could do is I can, instead of getting uh, CB-105s, I could get a bunch of iron bombs and finish the job. Uh, so what I think I'm going to do with F-16 is I'm going to finish off what I started at that strike location. So kill the remaining buildings with a bunch of iron bombs. And pray that the fighters we have in the area will take care of the, you know, any kind of threats that are in the skies. While we wait, let's go ahead and go list this, 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 and that. All right. Make sure this is aligned. Perfect. And just wait for alignment, INS alignment, to finish. Then once the INS alignment completes, one, 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 one inbound from wind zero four overhead break commencing. Or crimps, I think is what he said. Uh, yeah. So once our alignment is complete, then I'll rearm with a bunch of iron bombs and finish the job. I don't care about switching to AWACS with any F sixteen. All right, let's go to nav. Didn't spot what that was. Alright, so INS is now aligned. Let's return. Let's rearm. And let's switch over to... Let's go with... <laughs> I mean, that'll get the job done for sure, for one building. Um, but that might... Let's see, there's... Let's think about this. There are a total of four buildings left, because if we go to F11 view, you can see there's four buildings plus three tanks, uh, fuel tanks. So, if we want to deal with that, we need at least one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bombs. The problem is that Mark 82s alone is not, are not enough to destroy those bigger buildings, as we saw. Uh, What do we have as an option? We have times three Mark 82s, times two Mark 82s, times one Mark 84. I wish we had the option of times two Mark 83. But unfortunately, that is not an option. We could say screw it, go with Mark 82s and Mark 84s. Could have traffic, but, one, one, and turn Okay, let's just try that two. and see what happens. So we'll go with times three. Times. Wait, those are snake eyes. I just want regular ones. Regular. Pretty sure these are regular as well, but just in case I chose the wrong one. Market you two. And then for these, let's go with um, Mark 84s. Oh boy. They're going to be one heavy bird. Mark 84s. Alright, cool. Let's do it. Request rearming. Copy. <laughs> Those big old Mark 84s. And times three Mark 82s, which are 1,500 in total instead of 2,000. Turn on our landing lights. Alright, let's get out of here. As we're steering this on. I am getting incredibly low frame rate despite playing in pancake mode. Maybe it's because I'm streaming. Crips, Warlock 1, 
very active. Crimson. All right, so if I remember correctly, I need to go left for Novorossis. Yeah, let's go left. And let's double check off 10 map. Looks like we're in the clear. By the way, guys, I don't know if you noticed already, but I am playing with nothing but a gamepad. When I access F10, gamepad. Zooming in and out, gamepad. Using the mouse to click around the cockpit, all gamepad. It is amazing what you can do with a gamepad alone in DCS. Currently selected radio is 249.5, so we will announce our intentions since only right. And we are still in the clear. Get rid of that game chat. Wow, look at that sunrise, man. It's great. Only frames per second were above 30. If I had to guess, we're probably writing like 30, 25 second. I know we're a little low. All right, anyways, uh, what runway is this? 22. Nobo traffic, Tudor 1-1. One ship F-16 taking act runway 22. Nova. Center line. Once we see our number climbing, there we go. Turn off, nose while steering. Do our best to keep ourselves center line and rotate. Rotate because we're a little heavy. Okay, there we go. Wheels up. Positive rate of climb. And let's maintain a right hand bank and drop out of burner. Okay, out of burner. Autopilot is held at a right hand Crimson bank. Traffic shark taking runway 04 for a straight out departure. Crimson. Nova traffic 211 is airborne pushing 253. No, we don't. I mean, Cap, I mean, she tries to use them all, but you know, we usually don't have enough to just save. So, yes. Save the pepper flakes, at least. Last arm on, laser on. Lights off. Yeah, I think we're in the clear. Let's head back over to that strike. But first, let's grab the strike location. Oh, that is not the one we want. Okay, current mission strike. What? Uh, yeah, that works. Yeah, might as well. Oh boy, this guy. This went off running a little bit. Okay. Let's hold this direction for now while we enter our coordinates. And double check the name of the strike target. Yeah, go for it. Try target is uh, Water Duel. Ah, no, I'm good. Looks like they're trying to hit these buildings, which is good for us. Yeah, 
And let's go to steer point. Walk her up until we find one not set, which should be 10. There we go. Down. Down. North. Oh, God damn it. Other missions. Strike. So the goal is four five oh two two nine eight. Four five oh two what I say? Two nine eight. Enter. Up or down. East zero. And thirty eight oh two seven oh six. Thirty eight oh two seven oh six. Enter. And the worst part is, unfortunately, it doesn't snap to ground level. You have to find ground level based on F10. That's going to be 16. So, really, it didn't matter, but. 6. Enter. Turn. Alright. And have autopilot take us directly to that steer point. Looks like we're still in the clear, mostly. There, There is probably going to be an enemy fighter approaching from Krasnodar. So I might have to deal with that. Luckily, we're in an F-16 this time, and, well, we can deal with it. So I'm going to get a bit of altitude in preparation for that, but it looks like we have a friendly F-14 moving to intercept, so actually I don't think we have to worry about it. Now let's switch the HSD. So that flanker is right here. And that friendly Tomcat is right here. Let's see who wins. We'll just keep an eye on the HSD while we get to the target, or get eyes on the target area. Do that. Really? Because we're too far away? Oh yeah, we're like... That's not right, is it? 105 miles to waypoint 10? That doesn't sound right. There's no way. No, we're like literally right on top of it. What is this thing talking about? Oh, it's because... Because uh, I have a bomb equipped, so it's trying to give me the CCIP reticle. Which is fine. I don't need eyes on the target area. But... would like to see it for anything else. Uh, okay, so let's go to SMS. Your 82s, let's go with the 84s. I'm going to drop those first since they weigh more. 80s. Um, but I wish my helmet queuing system could tell me exactly where my steer point is. Steer point. Yeah, steer point 10 should be it, right? Enter? I need to hit enter? I don't think so. Oh, there it is. Alright, cool. So I know where it's at, roughly. So let's turn offset. Make sure we have our HSD back online. Yep, the flanker is now gone, so we're in the clear. And over there somewhere is our target. It's like behind this cloud or something. Somewhere over here. I think it's... Yeah, there we go. Wait, that doesn't seem right. Right? Where are the buildings? So that must be a different target, actually. But we don't want that guy. here somewhere.
A HUD is telling me it's like right here somewhere. Fires are there. We're only 20,000 so we don't have to worry about man pads yet. Dude, where is it? Okay, I guess I'll just follow my HUD. Oh, it's right there? What the heck? That doesn't seem right. What kind of BS is this? Throttle back to mill. Oh, there it is. <laughs> wow, that waypoint was way off. Go figure. All right. Well, at least we see it. So let's throttle up a little bit. Line up with a couple of these targets, and then drop our two Mark 84s. First one's going to be on that barn-looking thing, and second one is going. Okay, seriously. First it was Karen, now it's Melissa. Come on, people. I'll deal with you once I'm done running it. Looks like the SU-25T is just floating around. It looks like he just hit my target, but that's okay. And release. Did I release? Yeah, good kill. Then we'll hit the factory next. And then we'll hit those three tanks in one run. And we are completely vertical, aren't we? Let's fix that orientation. Alright, you know what? Let's get some speed back, and before we go in again, I'm going to have to deal with this particular person. Trying to leave links in my comment section. And autopilot. Okay. Sorry, Melissa, but I'm pretty sure you're a bot, so goodbye. Report. Harassment, bullying, hate speech, child abuse, unwanted commercial content, or spam. Goodbye. You know what's funny, though, is that because I have chat history on my, uh, on my stream, <laughs> the link is still there and I can't do anything about it, so that kind of sucks. Let's turn back in for that remaining factory, and then we'll line up for all three fuel tanks. Oh, and the factory's down. All right, never mind. I guess we'll just line up for the three fuel tanks. Mark A twos. We'll hop on over this cloud, and that should be good enough. the fuel tanks almost lined up. Just gotta trim out a little bit. There we go. And almost lined up. Should be good enough. Throttle back. Altitude. Oh boy. Altitude. This is going to be risky. One, two, three. Pull up. Pull up. Oh, come on. Those were square on. I can even see the smoke on them. What the heck?
no, uh, chat's going through. Or some chat is. I don't know. Have you been trying to talk for the last few minutes? I haven't seen anyone talk for a while. Dude, I lined those bomb drops perfectly. What the heck, man? Alright, well, luckily I have three more. Let's try it again. Oh, uh, one of your messages didn't even go through? Yeah, I'm not sure. Probably YouTube just hiccuping. Alright, let's do that again. Line up. Make sure they are single file. Okay, one of them are dead. Could be because the uh, SU-25T did something about it. Well, let's turn in. Just a tad. Converted. And throttle back. Looks like only one tank is left, which is good. But we will hit that. At least. Pulling up. Good kill. Strike is over. We should get a message that the strike is done. And mission success for this particular one. Yes, it should be. No power. Come on. Really? Is there something else down there? I had said it looks satisfying when the bomb drops and you see it <laughs> see it behind you detonating. Yeah, I know, right? It's kind of cool that the, uh, what's called, rolling and then pitching up as hard as you can at like 5Gs or whatever, gives you just the right angle to see it explode at the same time, so you can confirm the shack. Um, but, for some reason, I didn't get a message saying that this strike is over, so I need to double check the F-10 map instead. Well, let's hold autopilots and hold altitude. Altitude, there we go. Man, I think that's everything. I don't see anything else down there. Alright, let's check F10. I mean, it thinks there's still something down there. What is this? Dude, you are pushing your luck, buddy. There's nothing left down there. There it is. Now it's dead. Just got the message. Good job, boys. Alright, so we still have one Mark... Uh, two Mark 82s and one Mark 84. Let's see if we can make good use of them. What else is there? Zoom out. We got these strike targets. So we can hit just one of these. We should be able to spot them just with eyeballs. So it's just on the other side of this lake and between the lake and the city on the south side of the river. Let's see if we can find them. In that direction. And we'll start off with the Mark A4. If I remember right, the Mark A4 is actually useful against uh, bunkers as well. Hardened bunkers. Because there's just so much explosive impact that the hardenedness of them really just isn't a factor. Otherwise, I would have to get like a concrete piercer, and the only thing I've got of those is what, a GBU 31? That's about it. And there's the targets. And those don't look like bunkers. You know, those are just uh, power plants. I could have sworn there was a bunker somewhere. Well, we know the general locations of these guys, and they're pretty easy to spot, so let's see if we can find an uh, actual bunker to hit. Looks like <laughs> that A-10 just did something. Probably launched it off a Maverick. 
Ah, there's another target over there. Looks like more power plant. And just beyond that is a radio station. So that looks like a prime target for my for my uh, Mark 84. Have to go. It was nice stopping by. Yeah, thanks, man. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed. And yeah, it's night. Nice. Oh! Fast player. Fast player. I just get launched at? What's the SA-3 doing over there? <laughs> That's funny. Okay, well, it's trying to launch on us, so let's uh, do the smart thing and turn away from it. That's kind of funny that uh, it was launching at us, but then immediately detonating. Either it was hitting its own buildings, or it was just a horrible angle for it, for it to maintain a lot. So let's uh, just fly away, so that it's not our problem anymore. And then we'll turn back around and hit... Shoot, where is it? I think it's... Yeah, it's over there. That's our target. Right... Let's see if I can point it out. Right... There. Okay, good enough. Times one mark eighty four on a radio comm station. Uh, comms array, that's what it's called. In fact, let me uh, switch over to program. Sorry, to semi-auto because I'm gonna need that for when I run in. That way, I don't have to focus on pressing countermeasures myself. All right, it's looking pretty good. And throttle back, pop up just a little bit, and flip back over. This looks like a decent enough angle. There we go, this looks pretty good. Throttle is definitely at idle now, and... Begin countermeasures. Pickle. Chaff flare, chaff flare. Good shack. It is on fire, that's good. Something else died over there. Looks like someone else is hitting the same target. And looks like we did not get close enough to get shot at, so that's good. Alright, cool. Uh, we need our Mark 82s next. And we have only one, two of those left. Now, we have a choice. We can continue to hit buildings, or we can attempt to hit one of these ground targets, like these ground units. That'd be kind of fun, right? Or we can just go for the buildings, because that might be smarter. And let's go for the ground units. Let's see if we hit these guys. Oh, let's see if we can hit two in one pass. That'd be pretty awesome, right? Looks like we're in a good position for it as well. I'll have to actually turn a little bit to the right first. we break about seven and a half thousand we'll start flaring and flaring drop drop and flare good shacks both I think they're both dead oh boy it's all right Ooh, what the heck? I got fired on over there? Is that a SA-6 at that other site? 
Or that other strike? Oh boy, I really need to not fly that low and that close to them. Alright, cool, we're good. Pretty sure we got at least one of those bomb targets. I think I missed the other one though, which is unfortunate. Okay, cool, not bad. We're still in the middle, we have plenty of gas, I think. Unfortunately, we're out of bombs. We still have M120s. But there's not a lot I can do all the way out here. And I don't have the gas to go further into the AO with my M120s, I don't think. Alright, well, if that's the case, let's land back at Crimps again and get some more with bombs. Let's turn off the ground. Turn off Master Arm, laser off. And land back at Crimson. Um, one is going to be two, four, five, five. Enter. <coughs> and make sure there's no one in the immediate area. There is not. Just someone, I think, rearming. Crimps traffic, Tudor 11F16, currently inbound for short final on runway. Runway 04, Crimps. Can't forget the lights, of course. Oh, it's another F-16. Nice. Air brakes retracted. And let's get off the end. So apparently I'm having issues with people trying to uh, comment and it's not showing up. So if you're commenting, apologies, I don't know what's going wrong. It must be a te uh, technical issue. But for anyone who's joined, thank you all for joining. I hope you're enjoying the show so far. This next run out is probably going to be my last one. It's going to be probably another air to ground run. I'll try and take out the remaining, uh, one of the remaining strikes. This time, well, no, I should, I'll stick with the same game plan of uh, hitting it with Mark 84s or GB-31s, and then packing on a bunch of Mark 82s, and we'll just go in for dive bombs. Sounds like a plan. Get that back. And then all we'll do is replace these Mark 84s with... Taxi, is... Oh, you know what? They have to be on the out outer pylons. Hmm. Interesting. Bombs. Yeah, there they are. GPU guided, GPS guided penetrator bomb. Okay, cool. That's what I want. 
Turn to bomb. So two of those. I mean, I could get four. I have two Mark 84s and two of those. As fun as that would be, that's a little too much, I think. And let's go with times three Mark 82s. What else can I get, though? Times two Mark 82s, times two CPU 97s. I mean, that could be pretty cool as well, actually. Let's do that. Because there's still a few ground units over there. What do you use for the electrical caging in the F86? I'm using left stick click, but holding it while maneuvering is tough. So I don't have the uh, the F86, so unfortunately I can't tell you, but it sounds like it's similar to holding the pack for, uh, for the A10, where you hold it down to stabilize, and then you can press another button to fire. And yeah, it's a, it can be kind of tough. Um... I can't, honestly, I can't really think of a, an alternative, but basically you'll want something that is close to your gunfire option. That way you can hold the other button down, and then as you're holding it down, get ready to press the fire button, leaving your left thumb free to readily manipulate the left stick for, you know, pitch roll or whatever. Um, but yeah, that's, that's going to be a hard one, unfortunately. What was I going to do? CBU 97s. Times 2. Yeah, there we go. And let's just make sure these are the CBUs. And now for traffic, gateway 71 taking off runway 04, straight out departure. Okay, and not, let's just grab them one more time. Times 2, CBU 97s. Okay, cool. Request refueling. Alright, while well, we wait, Request let's see what everyone else is doing. Because I could have sworn I saw another person out in this direction. Actually, you know what? Before I'm curious. It was a Sam. Oh my god. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yep, an SA-3. Look at that. But it's out of missiles, so I don't think it's a an issue anymore. Yeah, it's out of missiles. It's not going to be a problem. Okay, cool. It's still, uh, it's still spiking us and making us scared, but it's not going to be able to launch anything at us, so that's fine. Alright, cool. Let's turn on our internal lights. Instruments. Console. What is this? Oh, that's floodlights? Don't care. Alright, cool. Napa traffic, gateway 71, leaving the area to the northeast, last call in Napa. And we're at 30 frames per second. Reviewing complete. Times two, times two, times one. And one. So those GBUs are going to be for that bunker because that single Mark 84 apparently wasn't enough. Rearming complete. And I'm hoping, because they're penetrator bombs, I'm hoping that's going to be enough for this bunker. Which is this guy right here. Because this thing is not dead yet, even though I hit it square on the top with a Mark 84. Oh! Maybe I did get both armors. Huh. Alright, cool. Sweet. Alright, well, regardless. Let's go. Let's check the immediate area. Go here. Then we will zoom out. Runway 22. Alright, cool. Sweet. We're good to go. Crips traffic 2111 S16 taking active runway 22. Oh, whoa, 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 what is that? Someone on the runway? Oh. <laughs> uh, that's funny. I think he's technically dead, that's why I didn't see him on the F-10 map. Okay, that's good to know. 
I'm gonna have to make sure I turn off on this side and then take off. No, oh, that's funny. Is that the same dude that was waiting to take off earlier? Eh, it can't be. And he disconnected. Okay, cool. We're in the clear. Let's go. And knots are now showing. Might as well steering is off. And rotate. Oh boy. Okay, thank God. I was hoping, uh, <laughs> I was afraid I was about to run over a crater. Um, okay, gears are up. Mill power. Let's maintain a right hand bank as we continue to ascend. And it should be easy enough to find that same target as earlier. Lights off. Master arm on. Laser on. Eh. Yep. And why is my radar freaking out? Let's switch to air to air. Okay, cool. Back. That is very strange that my radar is doing a single ping in one direction. I am not sure why it's doing that. Oh, duh, because I slewed all the way over to the side. Okay, never mind. I'm dumb. Okay. Once we do a 180 from our crimps. Oh, that's right. Crips traffic, Tito Runway, Airborne, Efficient Turn. I forgot to call that out. Three, enter. Alright, cool. It looks like we're still in the clear. There are no enemy fighters in the immediate area, so we are good to go for our ground pound. But with that in mind, let's go to right around. I am not sure why I'm looking at that in particular. Oh, right, because that was my lat long that I inputted earlier. Okay, that's fine. Power on on our GBUs. And you know what? Let's go ahead and enter the steer point for that particular site, just so we have it. Because we have to wait for our GBU to align anyways. Strike. A little bit of steer point. Steer point. And let's change that along to north. And it's going to be the comms array that is right nearby us. It's either Femboy or Am's Destruction. If I had to guess, it's probably Am's Destruction. Yep. 4451399. Enter. Dobber down. Oops. Not north. Let's go east. Zero. Uh, 3812, 432. 3812. What was it again? Shoot. <laughs> 432. 432. Enter. And beat. I imagine is probably still 16, but let's double check. M's destruction is 125 feet. Wow. 125. Enter. Turn. And steer point 11, steer point 10. And sure enough, there it is. Well, let's make that soy. We'll go ahead and change this to white hot. And let's go ahead and zoom in with the control that I'm trying to remember. And I think zoom in is oh boy what is it to zoom in i don't want to press the wrong button uh i think it's this no it's this there we go okay cool so we got the target it's already right there on our in our targeting area so our gbu should be able to track that just fine and look at that gbus are ready all right cool let's hit it 
we'll hit it with both uh, GB31s. And apparently Crimson has been <laughs> captured by Red, even though we were just there. Whatever. It's all good. So what I think I'll do is I'll hit it once. I won't drop both of them at once. I'll just keep an eye on it, make sure that one was in fact not enough, and if so, I'll drop the second one. That's good. Altitude to hold and steer point select. That way you don't have to worry about this and just wait. We have friendly, what is that, a SU-25? I mean, all that smoke, it looks like a SU-25. 20 seconds. Zoom out a little bit. Five seconds. Holding pickle. And pickle. All right. Let's go ahead and altitude hold. But, you know, let's make sure we don't flip out. Okay, cool. Trim is now set. And let's keep an eye on our bomb. But the fun way. In fact, let me uh, put ourselves at a greater bank angle. There we go, that should do. We're at 15,000 feet, which is plenty high to stay safe. Come on, GB31. You got this. Let's see if your fabled <laughs> concrete penetratorness is actually worth its salt. Oh my god, what are you doing? Turn on to target, please. And... Boom! Okay, so it wasn't destroyed immediately, but it could eventually become destroyed. So we'll let that stew for a little bit, and in the meantime, we'll do a CCRP release of the CBU-97s. CRP, CRP, there we go. And make sure we target the correct Targets? Oh boy. Okay. That is not what I meant to do. There we go. Make sure that's soy. Perfect. Yeah. So we'll put one right here, probably. In fact, that smoke gives me an idea of what the wind direction is like, so let's put it over here somewhat. Right about there. That should do. All right, let's do it. This is going to be a single drop. CCRP. And that should do the trick. And once that releases and I see the damage, I'll double check on the bunker and see if that has been destroyed by the GB31 yet. And if not, we'll drop the second one. Fifteen seconds. Eight seconds. Blank pickle. And... Release. Double check our bomb. The cool way. Oh, uh, that looks pretty good. Especially if the window holds true. 
Oh, that might be a little far. Oh no, please. Please work out. That might be way too far. Oh, that's way too far. No! <laughs> Good thing we have three more. Oh, nice. Oh, no way. Hit the last one. Hit the last one. Come on, you can do it. Oh, that's getting so close. Come on. Ah, damn it. Okay, well. At least two of them went down. That's pretty good. Oh, well. Alright, cool. Like I said, we have three more, so it's all good. Alright, so for this next pass, let's correct that position and put it pretty much directly on the remaining unit. And of course, let's get out of this cloud layer. I'll just put it like right here or so. Yeah, that should be good enough. Alright, turning back in. And we'll drop a second CBU-97. And that should definitely hit this, uh... It's called this remaining Z-23. Twenty seconds out. Ten seconds. Five. And release. That was a little off, but hopefully it's okay. Let's watch it go in. It's not looking too bad. Maybe a little long again. Uh, a little long, I think. Come on, explode, explode. Ah, oh, that looks good, actually. Now let's go back here. Yeah, that's actually looking pretty good. Oh. Wow, they're actually going consistently long. Huh. But yeah, that should definitely be. There we go. Good kill. Alright, cool. Now let's go ahead and retarget this steer point. With the GBU. Oh, not profile 2. That's not what it meant. GBU. And hopefully the second GBU 31 is going to take care of it. Get a little more altitude again. About 20,000 should be plenty good enough. Not that it matters. Getting radical is in the correct area. Jesus. I think I double checked. There we go. Alright. It's at the correct spot now. And there's our drop line. And we will altitude hold and steer point select. Ten seconds. And we are launched on. Let's bug out. die. Okay, 
Okay, we're clear. No, we're not. and GB31. That's unfortunate. Let's switch to air to air and see if we can't get this guy off us. Because we also have friendlies in the area that could use the help. 20 miles probably. Let's go ahead and turn back around. We'll burn. And drop this guy down to 30 miles. He's uh, Angel 16, or Altitude 16, I should say. For some reason, I can't actually lock him up. Pretty sure. Out of countermeasures. Let's go ahead and dive. We're gonna have to rely on maneuverability to eat any misses launched at us. Oh my god! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh goodness. That's funny. Oh, well, there goes our M120. I think that's ours. Oh well, that sucks. Alright boys, that is going to be it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. That was a solid, I think, two hour stream? Yeah, two hours. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you enjoyed this stream, enjoyed this content, please feel free to give me a follow, or like, or subscribe, or whatever what it is on YouTube. And tune in next time for some more DCS World gameplay. Take care guys, have a good one.